name of the Lord. Amen. May have our seats in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I'm Carol Moses, and Moses is in the house. So kindly, let's welcome Moses here. So that he may say hi. Yeah? Kindly. Praise the Lord. Amen. I just come to confirm what she has said. <laughs> that um, that is, she is called Moses, and now Moses Wakaro. I'm happy to be here, and uh, it's an honor and a privilege, even for the leadership, Bishop, and the leadership of this church, to give us an opportunity to share the love of Christ with this congregation we are just about. Otherwise, the Lord bless you so much. Let's wait and relax. The Lord to speak to us. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. So I'm Carol Moses, a wife, a mother, and then a, a minister of the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, I know my, our children are here. I uh, don't know whether they have gone to their classes or they are inside there. So, Daisy, Bansi, where are you? Uh, it seems that they have gone to their classes, but um, they know I'm here and have their blessings. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, our topic of the day is empowered to live my purpose. Empowered to live my purpose. I will start by defining what empowerment means. Empowerment is to give power, authorize, permit, or to give someone ability to do something. The reason why when I was called to come here, I passed over there because today I'm empowered to stand here and therefore needed to tap the blessings of our host, Pastor, Pastor Beatrice. That's a revelation. And to honor the anointing in this house of our Bishop Jimmy and our Reverend. Aries. Let's clap for them. So with their blessings, that's why I'm here. So I'm empowered to start before you. Uh, I'm going to also define what purpose means. Purpose means original intent or reason for creation. We are talking about empowered to live my purpose. Praise the name of the Lord. And we are going to look uh, upon God's purposes for our life in two different aspects. One, his purpose in the world to come. His purpose in the world to come. And also we are going to look on his purpose in the present world. His purpose in the world to come and also his purpose in the present world. I'm here created the image of God. But again, I'm Caro, living in this world, but I'm not of this world. And therefore, those are two aspects that will help us to navigate our lives as believers and also our lives as human beings. Praise the name of the Lord. God purpose for Jeremiah, he said this. That before I formed you, in the womb I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. 
I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. This is according to Jeremiah 1.5. This is the word of the Lord coming to Jeremiah. He's telling Jeremiah that before I formed you in your mother's womb, Carol, before I formed you in your mother's womb, Moses, Before you are even born, I consecrated you. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Hallelujah. sana. So in this very text, uh, it is reminding us that your birth was not by mistake. Hallelujah. Even if your mother was raped, God allowed it. You are not aborted. And that's why you are living. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God knew you even before you are formed. Even before you are born. He has consecrated you today as a woman. He has consecrated you today as a man. He has consecrated you today. As a young person for his own purpose. Hallelujah. And the purpose is you thrive through the challenges of this life. You conquer not by your health, not by your strength, not by your academic, not by where you are born, but by his help. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. How do I know my purpose? If then you are born, you are there, you are mother, you are father, you are a young person, you are a child, you are there, you are looking at people, enjoying this Christ, happy, singing with a revelation that I'm doing it to the Lord. I'm not doing it to, it to be seen by the camera. We are, we are having a revelation to know you are praising the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And he proceeded and said, let me create a man after my own image. So you are singing, you know, by singing only, but you will be singing with a revelation that buwana ni nakuinua kwa sababu anijua. Hallelujah. Uli ni fahamu. Atakabra ni zariwe. So, now, how do I know my purpose? Through leading the word of the Lord. How do I know my purpose as a young person? Through fellowship. Do you belong to a cell? Do you belong to a redes group? Do you belong to a men's group? Do be wrong to that youth group. Fellowship. Number three, ministry. How do I know my purpose? Ministry. Through ministry, service to God. Hallelujah. Number four, explore your passion. Explore your, explore your passion. Now I'm going to read the word of the Lord from the book of Acts 1, from verse 4 to verse 8. Or rather, I welcome all of us to read together Acts chapter 1, verse 4. Through verse 8. On one occasion, we are reading together. He gave them this command. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, 
you are at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know the times or the dates the Father has said by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and to the end of the earth. When you receive power, you will start by witnessing Christ in where? In Jerusalem. Then go to, to Judea. Then? Then, I would like to ask you, you that you have been in the house, you that you have been in your marketplace, you that you have been doing your parenting very well, you that you are here looking at this beautiful girl. Hallelujah. Najwa lazima ujipende. Lazima ujiweke. Bizuri dani ya kristo. Amen, amen, bishop. Yes, the Bible here is telling us about the preparation for the coming of the Holy Spirit. Jesus held an exit strategy. And his exit strategy was this, to sit with his disciples, teach them, walk with them, help them, and impact them. And then later, the exit process was him to go because he was limited to that very one place. Hallelujah. Amen. For the uh, Holy Spirit to come and dwell in, in our hearts, in our places of work, in our homes, in our ministries. Hallelujah. So he had this and uh, he told them, stay in Jerusalem. Till you are endued with power from? So, instruction number one was to? Was to stay. We have been preaching Christ to the lost souls. And I love our structure in this church. That after someone gets saved, they are given an opportunity to go through discipleship class. And then after that, they are given by even to join SOL, School of? And then after that, there is that impartation to go e. Hallelujah. Amen. In this very verse, we need to understand two things. One, that borrowed belief have no power. And uh, that we are going to see in the book of uh, Acts 4, 33. This is when, uh, let me read, you must have a personal encounter with God. All your life will have no impact. After being filled with the Holy Spirit, we read, the apostles testified power free. And God's great blessings was upon them all in a calling to Acts 4, 33. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. They witnessed Christ power free. After they received power. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to give a testimony of what happened in my life. I got saved in class 6. And uh, that time I was very young. To an extent when I was given an opportunity to testify in our Sunday school class, I was just shivering. And one night, it was a, a close-over Kesha. A man of God stood and preached about Acts 1, 4 to 8, about receiving power of God. And I witnessed young people being filled by the Spirit of the Lord. I witnessed old people receiving the power from above and they started speaking in new tongues. And I was there and I was asking myself, God, what is this that is not well? 
when I have not aligned myself well with what is happening with this altar. And I heard the speaker say, even if you are not being filled of the Spirit of God, please wait, keep praying, keep praising the Lord. And let me tell you, as I waited and as I continued praising the Lord, I heard the first word that was a Greek to me. And I said, God, it has happened to me. I will forever be grateful in this ministry. And I said, God, I don't want just to remain with that one powerful word that I've learned or I've received today. I would like or my desires just to walk in your ways. And uh, when, I went, <laughs> when I went home, it was after we did our chores. And I thought, why don't I kind of seclude myself and practice those good languages I had over the Kesha. So I sneaked into our coffee plantation and I started exercising. And I said, Riba Kanda Rabo, Nikaskia Zipotei, Nikasema Robo Shekebo, Ha, Nikasema Nimejazwa. Hallelujah. And I said, God, because you have said after we have received this power, we will wilderness from Jerusalem, we will go to. You dare, you go to Samaria. I, I said, God, these men have been seen on the pulpit. These men, they were born as the way I was born. These men, they come from those families. Some of them, they are very humble, but you are using the mighty. I desire to walk with the Lord. And I remember one day, we went for a crusade and I was given a testimony to testify. I told them I am in class six, but one thing I know is that Kara is saved. Not only saved, she has received the power of the Holy Spirit. And I started testifying on the goodness of the Lord. And when they were just looking at me, they were like, wow, this young child... This young girl. And I started now believing in the word of the Lord. When Kesha comes, I'm there. When Bible study is there, I'm there. Hallelujah. When players came, I was there. I attended all. And in obeying the Lord, the Lord gave me power. Like the way he has given me power to stand even before my husband. I honor you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So uh, we were here after Pentecost. And uh, there was this story of Peter from the book of Acts 4, 33, that you have to have an, a, a personal encounter with the Lord. And uh, number two is that, or secondly is that, uh, that unused power has no value. Banasifiwe. Hallelujah. You have to experience God personally. Secondly, you have to know that that unused power has no value. Let's see from the book of Isaiah 6.4. Isaiah 6.4. What a mind blowing experience to have in church. Isaiah had to leave. Go out and perform God's purposes. I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And the post of the door was shaken by the voice of him who cried out. And the house was filled with smoke. Matthew 17, 4, it says, It is during the transfiguration. Peter got so caught up in the experience. You know, Peter was there. With Jesus during the transfiguration. And uh, when he was there, the Bible says uh, mm, it was Peter now who got uh, up in experience that he wanted to stay there. And this is what he told Jesus. This is according to Matthew 17, 4. Lord, it is good for us to be here. But Christ, we are there. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, 
I will put up three shelters. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. And the, the other one says that uh, while he was still speaking, a bright cloud covered them, and a voice from the crowd said, This is my son, whom I love, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. I have a seven. But Jesus came and touched and touched them. Get up, he said. Don't be afraid. After that experience, Jesus had to now move to where Peter was and he touched them. That act of going, taking a step to where Peter was, it was telling them, men don't need to have. Keep ourselves here. We have to really move. We have to really get out of here and go. Release that which we have seen. Go share that which we have witnessed in this very praise. Praise. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we together? So there is no need of unused power. So if you need this power, get to know you need to get out of yourself. To get out, out of those excuses that me, you know, I'm too short for this and the other. You know, I'm from this place. You know, I'm from, I am of this level of education. You know, these are some reasons we hear <laughs> or we receive in our cells there. If you appoint someone, you know, you'll be the one sharing the word of the Lord next time. Ana kuangalia na kuambia mimi. Mm -mm. Sio mimi. Bana asifue sana. And now that we have been empowered through the day's conference. And we, are, we were taught a lot. And we have a lot in store. Time is now for us to, ex, uh, to exercise that which we have received from the men of God. Mingini yako karibu kunikosoa. Niambia karu it's not the men of God. You know, kingdom. Manenos. In kingdom, Manenos, we have sons of God. Great. We are going on well, and uh, we will see why is it important to live an empowered life. Why an empowered life? Why an empowered life? Number one. Number one. Revelation. Why an empowered life? Revelation. According to 1 Corinthians 2.10, the Bible says because of time, but God, has this, but God has revealed it to us through the Holy Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, even deep things of God. Why empowered life? One, you need that empowered life through the revelation of this life on how to raise your children, on how to go on, uh, on with your day-to-day -day duties. Hallelujah. Even with your skills that the Lord has given unto you, those that are in singing careers, music, Media and the rest. You need this revelation so that when you sit down and start composing songs, you will compose songs full of knowledge of God. You will compose songs that once you present them, they will heal the sick. They will raise people that are down. Hallelujah. Once you compose that poem, in that industry, you love that revelation of not only a prime that which you have learned from uh, courage, but the Holy Spirit of the Lord, uh, of Lord will help you to elaborate further what you want to mean to people. And you bring life into their lives. Why empower drive? We need to pray. 
the need of prayer. 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 The Bible says, in Romans 8.26, that we don't know how to pray. So Holy Spirit comes to help us on how to, to pray. Even at this very moment that we are in, in this country, Kenya, where we are experiencing economic hardship, where people are getting those letters from their bosses, that there is no job, retrenchment letters. Others are being told, you know, from today we are going to give you half salary. In another way, they are telling you, better you quit, kitambo, bere kabra tuku chunje. We need the Spirit of God to help us on how to pray. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana inuliwe sana. He empowers believers to be effective witnesses. The Holy Spirit empowers believers to be effective witnesses. You are able to preach Christ because you have received power, not from that guka that died so many years ago, where you run to the tube and then you start saying, guka, you know, one day you are a bishop. Come and give me that power. No, 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 no. It's the power from above. Power from God. Hawaii empowered life. Temptation. Temptations. The Holy Spirit of God helps us to say no to sin. He helps us to say no to sin in times of our temptation. That is according to Titus 2.12. The other one is about he convicts us of sin. According to John 16.8. When uh, the Holy Spirit of the Lord comes on you, you will be convicted of your sin. Hallelujah. But as if he says in uh, New King James Version, and when he comes, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Time has come, parent, for us to stand in the gap as Holy Spirit enables us so that we may be able to raise our children in godly ways. And if you have done your work, and still your children are going against the will of the Father, stay in the place of prayer. Continue praying in the place of prayer. Ask the Holy Spirit of the Lord to enable you to have that patience with your children, to have patience with your husband, to have patience with your wife, to have patience with your bulls and clients. Hallelujah. He will empower them and help them and convince them of their sins. And they will turn to God for righteousness because the Holy Spirit of the Lord will teach them the judgment of God. And the Bible says that the Lord will teach our children. When it is too hard for you, they allow the Lord to teach your children. Not in a complaint mood, but in that place of prayer. As you talk, pray. There is a, a terminology Bishop used sometimes back. It is calling, uh, it, time has come for us to practice neology and Tokology. Yo ni liishika. Unajua ni kopale kwa teenagers. Yes, I'm a mother of teenagers. Na ni liishika vizuri sana. Kajua, it is not my time to judge them. It is my time to remind God that God, these are your gifts. 
Because the Bible says children are gift from, from God. There is no way God can give us bad gifts. He always give us perfect gifts. Even if sometimes they go astray, God is aware. Let's continue in the place of prayer. Tell the Lord, these are your gifts. Amen. And the gifts of the Lord are there no sorrow in our lives. Amen. And therefore, God, I'm not going to experience depression. And I'm going to experience anxiety. I'm not going to be filled with fear because these are your children. Buona sifuwe sana. When you receive the Holy Spirit of God, you will practice and walk in power of the word of the Lord. One day my daddy got a very bad accident and uh, I was from a, a conference. And I got my daddy uh, leaning on his coach and was just there. He was full of bandage. I looked at him. And I said, God, yani after, after the whole conference, this is what you can reward me with? And I looked at my daddy. I looked at myself. Yani a girl, a hopeless girl. My mother is away, far away from here. And I looked at my daddy again, and I heard the voice. Those that know they are God shall do exploit. I looked at him. And I tapped him, asked him, Daddy, Habari. Then I asked him, What has happened? Then he told me, I got a very bad accident in the morning as I was going to work. I told them, Daddy, would you kindly help me? Help me, please. Help me, please, to pray with you. But you add in your faith, but you coming out. Of that cage of devastation, and we pray together. Daddy looked at me uh, like this, and I told him, Daddy, you know what? God loves you. Nange taka, ukufe, kamo jamuamini, akaniuliza, nani alikuambia si jaokoka? Nika muambi, I'm very sorry. Ikuli mkubali kristo. Nasikuwa ijua, naomba msama. Lakini tunaweza oba kwa pamoja. Akaniambia maombi ni mazuri tuombe. And then I started praying. I found myself praying in tongues. And I told Jesus, come and reveal yourself in the life of my father. And I told Jesus, you know what? This power that you have put in me has to work today in the name of Jesus. Because it's not about Caro. This is about you. You are going to work through Caro and bring healing to my daddy. I prayed for my daddy. Hallelujah. Unaona ile anxiety akuwabia mzazi. Unaenda kumwekerea mikono because I had my pastor telling me that we lay hands on the sick. Ha! Bwana asifiwe. So I practiced that and I said, "Daddy, I'm going to pray for you because the people who know they are God shall be strong and do." And I prayed. And then after prayer, najua ile temptation ya kumuuliza Ebu tufungwe hizo bade jituwane kama umepona. <laughs> Bana sifiwe. So I was there staring at him. I told him, Daddy, me in me, I'm, I'm feeling that deep conviction that you are healed. He looked at me, said, Amen. That it be so. That was, that was on Saturday. Come Monday, he went to his work. And as he was there, he experienced a lot of uh, release. And he said, why don't I go to the hospital and be rechecked? He visited that hospital. And when he was there, he told them, you know what? I'm feeling a lot of itch itchiness all over. Would you kindly remove these bandages and uh, see whether niuzaha uninini, when they removed Ah, my daddy had already experienced healing of God. Amen. And one week to my wedding, my daddy got saved. Nani kashindua? Eh, aliniambia likuwa meokoka. Kwani kumekuwa aje? Hallelujah. 
Bwana asipiwe. There are some times you will exercise that power. There is that time you will exercise that testimony that you had somewhere. Na kafia kengine kana kuja kana sema. Unajua we karotu. We ni ule ka? The spirit of intimidation. Refuse that spirit of intimidation and walk in power. Bwana asifuwe sana. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We are about to finish. And I'm now going to talk on the characteristics of an empowered life. We have heard about why. Why empowered? How this empowerment? Why this Holy Spirit in our day-to-day -day life? And now, characteristics of an empowered ha, girl. Characteristics of an empowered sister. Characteristics of an empowered single mother. You are mother, you are father, two in one, and you are there. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. One characteristic is react, one who reacts gracefully at a provocation. You react gracefully at a provocation. Hallelujah. And this is according to Titus 2.1. It has to one. It says, you, however, must teach what is appropriate to sound doctrine. 212, sorry, 212, 212. Titus 212. It says, it teaches us, grace of God, it teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled Upright and godly lives in this present. Ushikirie hapa isitoke. The grace of God teaches us to say no to sin. One day I was in town and uh, had just gotten into, uh, into our prayer hour. And as I was getting out, a young man came and started walking along with me. And he asked me, how are you? Habali yako? Nikasema, mzuli sana. Was a kisi? Do you have kisis in the house? Ha, habali yako? Mzuli sana. Then, can you oh, you look lovely. Can oh, thank you. I'm wonderfully and fearfully made. I can you say, are you a Christian? Can be, oh yes, I am a Christian. Not only a Christian, one who is filled by the Holy Spirit of the Lord. He looked at me and said, wow, that is good. Yeah, there is something I would like to tell, to tell you. Then I asked him, what is it that you want to tell me? What you want to tell me? What you want to tell Na karo likuwa na time, ya conversation. Karo likuwa na time. And then ika muliza, what is it that you want to tell me? I looked at him. Macho kwa, akangalia chini. Alipo angalia chini, akaniambia, ningependa kuwa buwanako. <laughs> I looked at the art young man. Ika muambia, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, umekubali? Nika muambia, asanti sijakubali, niko na habali ya kukuambia. Uyu mstana unaona ni mama wa mtu. Na uyu mstana unaona, amefurahia kuulizwa na wewe. Ni kwa sababu gani? Umekuja kuuliza mstana, ujaenda kwa kijana. Na shukuru, thank you. Thank you for that proposal. Lakini, ningetaka kuwoku na wewe. Would you kindly give me your number? I'll walk with you. He gave me his number. Then I can yambia, do you have 
a cup of tea tomorrow nikamwambia oh a cup of tea yes if you will permit my husband to be there akaniangalia akaniambia serious ile hiyo pattern ya kuolewa kaambia eh oh i thought ni zile za decoration nikamwambia hapana mimi niko na m na mtu and then the following day akaniambia kindly uh, i would like to meet you nikamwambia thank you so the following day, that evening you know ile unaenda nyumbani unaulizwa how was your day moses akaniuliza how was your day nikamwambia acha nikuambie tulikutana na kijana mrembo <laughs> alafu akaniuliza alafu nikamwambia mimi ni mama wa wenya kwa hivyo kesho tukitoka that prayer hour ukiona nikichomoka chomoka pamoja na so moses aliti alichomoka pamoja na huyu msichana wake na alipochomoka na huyu msichana wake huyu kijana na yeye akachomoka kama kawaida kama jana so alipochomoka nikamwambia oh labri how is your day today kaniambia fine ambia meet moses my husband he was like oh akakuwa na ile statue and i looked at him kamwambia i thank god because you are in good hands and moses looked at him ambia we thank god and we would love to walk with you do you think ali ali nizidikisha the for in day hallelujah ali zidikisha huyu msichana hakuzidikisha because alijua ukweli lakini pia tuliweza kuhandle his emotions and feelings in the rightful way by being gracious to this person wengine wetu we are here we have been singles for too long not because we, are not, we have not been seeing this man they have been coming our way lakini malingo nayo hiyo basi ko wapi hiyo basi ko wapi titus 212 malingo nayo then you look at the man You look at this young man you are empowered you have your own job you have your own business you are able to meet all your needs and to an extent you are able even to start with DOI and you are able also to be serving in the church because you are being empowered but again this young man comes you you are driving he is not driving you look at him You analyze him from top to and then unasema nijikute. <laughs> so that's why we are having problems after problems after problems because of the grace of God has departed from our ribs. We are not gracious. Ikiwa utaki mtu muambie tu kwa upole My brother sijiski kuolewa kwa saa hii mwambie tu kwa upole hata iku unajisikia Amen Kuna brothers wameguzwa mahali wameambiwa nijikute Mara nyingi May the Lord help us May the Lord help us Women may the Lord help us because also we are contributing a lot to the life of our children wanakuletea mtu unamwangalia hivi unamuuliza kwao ni wapi kwao ni kwao ni wapi and then nakwambia kwao ni nande and then unakuwa political because wewe ulikuwa katondo and then ukamwambia tujikute tukienda nandi And when Kesha comes you are the first person to intercede for that girl you are the first person to intercede for that young man what are you doing our god is righteous our god is holy he sees even in our, our intentions bwana asifiwe sana may the lord god help us hallelujah characteristic of an empowered person hallelujah Amen. hallelujah one who bears fruits of the holy spirit according to galatians 
22 to that uh, 22 to 23 one who bears fruit of the holy spirit but the fruit of the holy spirit is love joy peace for balance kindness goodness faithfulness name them gentleness and self control against such things there is no rule Tuko pamoja. The fruit of the Holy Spirit. Tunasema tumejazo, we are empowered. But when it comes, tusitoe iyo, tusitoe iyo, tusijikute mahali pengine, bwana asipiwe. It says this. Where are we? Galatians 5.22. One is love. Upe? Upendo. And after we have been preached and impacted and empowered to go and become those instruments, we read at our Jerusalem. No, when you receive this power, you start witnessing from where? Jerusalem. Jerusalem is our homes. You are there. And when Christmas comes, you are the one who, who talks in your family. And because of empowerment, you have known how to empower your people. Ata ule akuenda shure, umemweke ya ngombe ya kamuange uko nyumbani. Lakini ata kumweke ya kamuange kule nyumbani, unagojia, unahesabu mpaka wakati ya ngombe itaza. Unajua itaza mwezi wane. Uku nairabi si mwezi wane kuna kwanga na balidi. So unajikuta pale, unamuliza gedhana. Okay, the, uh, the, the first milk, inaitwa gedhana, in Greek. Unamuliza, mazui mekua safi, dio. Sa, hii ngombe, inaleta liters uh, ngapi, anakuambia tano. Oh, lita moja huku inatoka pesa ngapi? Forty. Eh, hey, so fanya hivi, nitaonge na tuensako. Utaku ukiweka hiyo maziwa kuwa tuensako because Nairobi, hii maziwa nikiuza, tutapata faida. Kwa hivi itakuwa ikitoka 120 Nairobi. Si hapa tutafanya faida. Eh. So, your brother na kuwekea maziwa inaleta. Mayai inakuja. Eh? Maembe inakuja. Si tunajua kwa butize tu maembe. Maembe inakuja and then unauza. At the end of the month, anakupigia unajua sina pesa ya karo ya watoto ambia ah kwa hivyo unamwambia sina pesa niliza na sasa maembe maindi madizi maziwa yote imekuwa ikikuja kwa sema ni kwani nilikuwa na kuwekea ngombe Madizi na hii mambo yote ujisaidie. Sini yako. Siwende utafute yako. Lakini you are full of love. The fruits of the Holy Spirit. Uku tunakubatia. Rebecca nikikuona na kukubatia vizuri. Raba karaba yanda. But love. It's not there. When we go home. We go with a shopping. Of 3,000. But it ukirudi nyubani. Sema kurudi nyubani. Unarudi na shopping ya 10K. Because ulianda ukakura, rafu kambia. Wacha niyade ni kagalie shaba. Unaona hapo kuna dizi, kuna miwa, kuna ngoashe, kuna ndoma, kuna madoroko, <laughs> kuna kuku. Kwa zona sema, wacha ni chukue ile kubwa. Niko kwa sababu niko na ageni kesho. And then at the end of it, brother kwa na kuangalia ati utachota kitu at the end of it. Nasema siwe umeokoka siyo ni bribery. Nataka ni kuchote nini? People who are empowered of the Holy Spirit with love. Bwana sifiwe. Hallelujah. Bwana sifiwe. Wengine we are full of love of serving the Lord in his house. 
We come very early to wipe the chairs, to do the cleaning, which is very good. It is service to God and to man. And we make our Shiro worship center praise or breakthrough neat and well arranged. Thank you, ushers. But again, again, Uliamuka, Ukambia Ule Mtoto Mkubwa, Dog Wokerale, Babakwa Kiamuka, Ingiapo Kitchen, Kuna Chai, Kuna Mkata, Umpaki Kiri Anataka, Kama Anataka Brubad, Au Zesta, Ido Anata. Umpakie, wana sifiwe. Rakini wageni wakikuja. My friend, utaita mpaka outside Ketalin. Na utameki shua ukopare, ukiwasavu. Lakini buwanako, haja iona we ukimusavu. Lakini chat service, tuko hapa tunashukuru buwana. Na si wamuke mapema tu, utaalisha hiyo chai, utaalisha hiyo ngoashe, utaalisha hiyo muhogo, uweke kwa meza. Najua tamose wagu wana niagalia na sema, hapo ni tik. <laughs> Bwana sifiwe, ni kwa sababu nilijua mambo ya kuanza nyubani, Jerusalem. So, ni kianda any mission, na making sure everything is... Mose kaya dahe, na niya... Praise the name of the Lord. Na namuambia niombe, kama reo niliombewa. Watoto wagu wame niobea. Na wananichagulia mpaka guwa ya kuvaa. Hallelujah. Ni kwa sababu ni meubiri nyuba. Rakini mtoto wako anatoka na sikia wewe unaenda kanisa. Anashindo. No mwambia. Ni ugoka kanisa. Utakuja kanisa sorry. Oh. Will you come to church? Hako wambia. Nitajua. Oh no. Because they are not experiencing that love of God in their lives. Let's start, Je. Let's go back to our Jerusalem. And this house will be filled with men. This house will be filled with and women and children. Because one, we are empowered of the Holy Spirit. And therefore, we are able to bear good fruit. Najua na nanga, our bishop akisimama, me, I observe a lot. Akisimama na galia reaction ya Pastor Alice. Nione kama hata cheka, kama hata cheka. Ili nijue kama kulikuwa kuzu. Hallelujah. Bwana sifiwe. Au naona kama ni kawaida hata mzee kukuja na kaa karibu na wewe. Eh? Ni kawaida. Eh ni kuwa obedient bwana. Ni kuwa obedient. Bwana asifuye sana. Wacha nitoke hapo. Let's go and start from our Jerusalem. Uh, let's go to the other point. Characteristic of empowered person. One who honors God with his or her body. One who honors God with his or her, with her, with her body. According to 1 Corinthians 6, 19. 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Our bodies are temple of the... Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? Who is in you? Whoever is in you is greater than whoever is in this. Aya, tunajua iyo. Ah, good. Clap for yourself. Si unaona ule mutu wa jikrapa, ajipendi. Saibu niambia mutu mwenye ajipigia makofi. Ataeza pigia aje mze wake. Makofi. Mutu mwenye ajipigia makofi. Anaeza aje kuya embrace mtoto wake. Jane, jane, juzi. Midi tamilikuwa lini. Yo, my child came, can you hear me? When I called you, my teacher was just next to you. Tikoe ka adhereli anima. Haya. Sasa, my teacher was just next to, to me. And when I called you, no, I said, hello, ma'am. I said, hello, Bansi. And then, akawa niambia, ma'am, there is this uh, amount of money our teacher has requested us to give out. Would you kindly send? Can be, oh, how much this much? Then I'll do it. 
Sasa hiyo alikuwa amejaribu simu ya mzee. Eh? Wengine wana shida mzee ni nani? Si ni Mose. Alikuwa amejaribu. Ameijaribu. <laughs> Apatikani. So I was there for her and I told her in a minute I'll give you. And uh, Nika, nika mwambia, would you kindly give that phone back to Marim? So I called Marim, nika mwambia, thank you very much. I'm sending that money in a minute. So I sent. So yeah, now this is a reported speech. Mami unajua, you are the only kind mother out of ten. Only kind mother who said you will send with that humble tone. Nika muuliza wengine walisema nini? Tabea mugu. <laughs> Mwingine akauliza lazima nitume. Sio lazima ukue hapo? Sio lazima ukue? Lazima nitume. Sio lazima ukue pale. And those girls cried. Those girls cried. And they looked at Mwarim. Mwarimu aliwakubatia kambi, you are my children. Iyo yote mumeamba, si uu ni mwarimu mzuri. Uu ni mwarimu mzuri. Aka akubatia kambi, next time, uh, tutaongea na wazazi. Hallelujah. Bwana asifuye sana. Do you honor God with your body? Do you honor God with your body? Oh yes, I do. In which way? Banasifiwe. Honor in God in this body. This body, it's like, it's like uh, the temple. Of, uh, we are the temple of the Lord. The temple in those Jewish time, the, it was uh, divided into many parts. Banasifiwe. Like, let's come here home. This is Shiro. Nikweli. And this is our altar. An altar. When one stands in the altar, is being seen by everyone. Nikweli. So there are those parts of our body that are more seeable by everyone. All, there are those, <laughs> yes, Rebecca, <laughs> yes, there are those <laughs> parts of our body that are seeable by everyone. Mahali pamoja panaonekananga sana? Uso. Mahali kuingine? Nyewere. Aya mali kuingine? Mugu. Aya mali kuingine? Mkono. Mali kuingine? Macho. Mali kuingine? Ah, meno. Ah, great. So, in this contest, the Holy Spirit was helping me on how we handle this temple. Okay? So, you find there are those parts of this body of this temple, we expose a lot. We expose? Nani kweli ni vizuri ku expose. Una expose uso wa? Wako. Na una expose vizuri. Si ati ya kuwaba na kukusalimia halo. Halo. How are you? Fine. Na vile nilikuwa ni mejitolea kukusalimia. Yani, how are you? Fine. And then, there are those other parts, like, we kind of ignore. They are not supposed to be seen. They are only seen by priests of the house. And that is the place of holy of? Buanasifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Buanawetu ainuliwe. But because you are too empowered... In our social world, we find an empowered caro in a certain spa somewhere exposing her holy of holies to eyes and eyes and eyes. And there you are. And there you are. Ni mesema spani baya. Ni mesema spani baya. Misi jasema spani baya. Rakini there are those places. There are those parts of our body that require boundaries. Bow? They require boundaries. 
they require to be covered. Let me bring, uh, bring this point home. They require to be? They require to be covered. Kindly brothers, kindly sisters. Let's cover what is, whatever is expected to be. When I was going to work, I was, in a, I was to board a matatu in Kiamombi. And I was about to board that matatu. And when I was about to board, another girl came. Akakuja. Nani namjua? Anafanyanga praise and worship. Lakini siyo wahapa. Hallelujah. Anafanyanga praise and worship. Alavu gali likuwa moja. Ni mwenye nguvu mpi? Mwenye nguvu mpishe. So tulipo kuwa tunangangana kuingia. Na kuambia those covered items. Those covered items. Ashad ha. To the seat. Arabu kulikuwa na mzeo wa kanisa alikuwa nyuma. Alifanya hivi, mwigini akasema, wana asifue, nikaona mzeo wa memuangalia na tizu wa au, huku hatuki kubona kwa pamoja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana asifue sana. Are you there? Have you been living that life? Have you been walking in ways when people look at you? They just see Jesus in you. Bwana sifuwe sana. Hallelujah. Wacha guo za swimming ziwe za swimming. Wacha tusidanganya na social media. Wacha tusidanganyike na social Uwacha tukaya watu amboni wa kifalume. Na watoto wa kifalume wanavanga kifalume. Bwana sifuwe sana. Watoto wa kifalume wanajua muze ya kiingia. Kwa hivyo wata sugulikia muze. Tio tu kwa chakura hile. Lakini yata ya hile holy of horis. Tuzikaya hapa tumekaukiwa kwa service. Ni kwa sababu muze anakuangalia vile unaenda. Anashido gai, unolia wakua. <laughs> Mtoto wako anaona. Vile you are ushering people to the church. I'm not, I'm not against ushers. Mi naongea kuhusu mwiri wa kristo. Anashido gai the way you are ushering people. And the way you have been ushering men in the house. No one I end up to the Holy of Holies. And you are in church. You are the one ushering, ushering people. May the Lord God help us. We need to live that separate, uh, separated life, consecrated life, holy life, righteous life, with our talks, with our hands, with our everything unto God. Pesa yako ni akununua pizza. Rakini watoto wako, they don't experience that touch of love, that touch of kindness. Rakini mimi, nikiwa na my friend, Bera, nita mununulia pizza ya giritano. Rakini mtoto wangu, pizza ya miyasaba, au niende tuwa pati ya rem, Tuesday, ni nuwe ya miyasaba, ni ongezo ingine, pizza house. Au amjuivo? Unakaa kama wewe, unajifuraisha, watoto wanasema, neoguwe mami. No we, ni wewe tu, lakini urinunua miya saba, ukaongezo wa nyogeza ya miya saba. Na wabia tunaona mbile mugo menibaliki. He ni kweli, pizza biri, aa, wewe, uko salama. Hallelujah. Buwana asifue sana. Buwana asifue sana. Peter was one day, uh, with Jesus. And people looked at him and said, Peter, do you know this person? Say, so, I see Jay Mwona. Uyu. Ah, ah, see Jay Mwona. Lakini you, Peter, after being empowered of the Lord, God used him. The Holy Spirit of the Lord released him. And he was able to preach to people. And let me tell you, Many came to the kingdom. The coward Peter was empowered to become an evangelist in the kingdom of God.
Be an evangelist to your children. Be an evangelist to your husband. Be an evangelist to your boss. Be an evangelist to your peer. Be an evangelist to yourself. Sometimes unajita kamkutano. Unasema karo, unajua, we ni mzuri. Lakini hapa na hapa, huja kamirika. Hallelujah. One day, nilikuwa naenda nyumbani, muranga. And um, a street boy came, looked at me, akaniambia mom, shiringi kumitu za chai. I looked at that young boy. Kamuliza ten bob, it will be enough for you. Yes, mom. Kambia, I will not give you ten bob. I will not give you food. But I will give you and I will transform your life. Ungetaka hiyo? Ndiyo. Kwa nini hauko shule? Kaniambia kwa sababu, uh, ni a wrong story. Diyo halikuwa nafati. Ni, it's a wrong story. And kambia, I'm ready to listen to that wrong story. And the boy started. Said how his brother was put into brave, to frames by shopkeepers in Gedurai 44 because of stealing bread in one of the shop. And then along the way, because of that fear of the mother, she passed on. And now the daddy has become 24-7 drunkard. And now here I am. I don't have anyone to turn to. So after wrong story, to make this wrong story short, the four, the, that evening I explained the whole scenario to Moses. I met this boy and he, he explained this, this. Would you kindly help me uh, with permission to go meet this young boy in Gedhuraina? Uko Sonic? Aliniambia, kaniambia. We enda, rakini ukae randa. Ukae? Yes. So ni kamuambia, sita ingia na uko dani, itasimama kwa barabara. And that's what I did. And I, I met the, the father. We, we talked. We exchanged word. And the father agreed for the boy to go back to school. And uh, the boy was in class six. So we took the boy in Gedurai 45. And the boy started running. Na kaza kupita mitihani. Akakua, ya kwanza alifanya, akakua na basaba. Iyo igini akakua na batisa. And then, as I visited them in their house, we did a shopping of one month. Because the boy, I asked the boy, what is this that you require from me? I'm a counselor by profession. What would you like uh, us to do for you? The boy said, shopping too. Ya nini na nini, akaandika. Najwa nini ni aliandika? Maziwa? Ya kukunyo asubui. Siyo ni kato ni moja. Iyo hata we uneza shidua. Tukabai. Na nini ingine stove. Na nini ingine mafuta. We did. And uh, the boys uh, continued running. As we are talking, the boy is in Gedima secondary. As I walked with the boy. As I walked, walked with the boy. Nika muambi I would like us to change the way you are living by taking you to a children's home. Unajua nini, there was a white man, not this one, not you, our brother, who had actually seen this young boy in Gedurai 45. Na ya kaza kumtafuta. The time I ratted, he also ratted. Aka niambia, me I will help this boy with accommodation. Sinika sema uni mujiza, juu hata sina mahali pa kumueka. Na kare kafia kakuleta uu mutu kuwako. Si hata si tukona iyo. <laughs> so the boy was accommodated in one of the children's home in um, Kamuthi. And that home has become his home. Hallelujah. And I'm so, so privileged to have known this Christ. Because there is no way. And I can share this love with others, with less fortunate, with also called doctors. Because again, Niki Gojeka Juna Gojekaga Niko Kwai Muiri, Naniko Kwai Dunia, Daktaria Kinitibuna Mwabianga Santi Sana. Do you know you are empowered to do that? 
And uh, do you know there is another empowerment you need to know? And then you listen Gani that one day you will be out of this world. Twenda wapi? Ani na mwelezi, na mwelezi, na mwelezi, na na ni abia. Me, I don't have problem. The only problem I have is with changing the church. So if you pray for me and I remain in Catholic, I have no problem. We una ezakosa kuomba. Ha, mi na obeanga. Na muombea asonge akisonganga. Na iyo tunasema na utukufu kwa nani? Kwa mungu. Bana sifuwe sana. So, have you ever preached to that, uh, that God at the gate? Or you just look at them like this. Hi. Hi. Thank you for your services. Have you ever introduced Christ in their lives? Have you ever introduced Christ in that girl? That serves in your home. Have you ever introduced Christ to your friend at that place of work? Hallelujah. Amen. We are empowered to expand the kingdom. May the Lord God bless us. May the Lord help us. May the Lord do us good. Even as we walk, even as we take a step of faith. Sini mependeka sana kutumia hii madhaba huya buwana. Amen. I'm off. I'm going. I'm going to welcome the lead of the service to take us from there. The Lord bless you.